G'day kids, thanks for tuning in to another Aussie episode. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos we put out and it would certainly make my day. In the meantime, enjoy this video. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Now who loves playing with balloons? Yeah, I do too. So let's make some dinosaur eggs. That's right, we're gonna take the good old balloon and one of my favorite things, the dinosaur, and we're gonna make some dinosaur eggs. So all you're gonna need is some balloons and some toy dinosaurs. You can try with big dinosaurs or you can try with little dinosaurs. So this is how it's done kids. The idea is to get one of these dinosaurs inside one of these balloons. So to start, you're gonna to wanna to get that balloon really stretchy and warmed up so that that dinosaur can fit inside. It's a bit of a tricky part, so you might need the help of a grown up. So once you've got it all stretchy and warmed up, <laughs> then you wanna try and get that dinosaur inside there. And you've got to be careful not to pop the balloon. So there you go kids, there's one dinosaur in one balloon. And that's ready for the next step, which is filling it with water, tying a knot in the top and popping it in the freezer and letting that dinosaur egg set. Now there are a few different ways to do that. That is a little bit tricky. So another way is to stretch that balloon open. Put a couple of fingers in there like that. And then you take your little dinosaur and you just lay it on there like that. And then you gently pull the balloon inside out over the top of the dinosaur, just like that. And then you've got to get the end of, end of the balloon out. like that. So that's a little bit easier. Now I'm going to try and do the same thing with the bigger dinosaurs. It's going to be a little bit tricky, but patience and persistence. Okay, so you might need the help of a grown up with this one, but I'm going to stretch it over this way, see how we go. Sometimes that happens. That's okay. We've got other ones over here. Should we try a pink one this time? Cool. Let's see how we go. The big ones are definitely a lot trickier. That's okay because you have a grown up to help there, I'm sure. That guy's ready as well. So the next step is to take these over to the tap and put some water in them. Let's go. Okay kids, the next step is to gently pull the end of that balloon over the tap. Again, you might need the help of an adult here. You just hold it in place, just like that, and then gently turn the water on. And you just wanna put enough water to cover the dinosaur and not much more, because then it looks better when it's frozen in the shape of an egg. And you just tie the knot in the end of the balloon like that, and that's ready to be frozen and turn into that dinosaur egg. And we do the others. Perfect. Now before we tie that, kids, there is one more trick. You just want to try and get all the air out of the top of that. And then you can tie it off. And 
and that one's ready to turn into a dinosaur egg. So there we go kids, we have all our eggs ready to go into the freezer and become dinosaur eggs. So kids, I've had these dinosaur eggs sitting in the freezer overnight and you can see that they're really hard. The next thing to do is to peel off the balloon from the outside and see if we can see that dinosaur inside the egg. So let's start with this red one over here. I'm just gonna cut around, peel off that balloon. And look at that. Wow, kids, a dinosaur egg. Look, you can see inside. And what kind of dinosaur do we have there, kids? Is that a Triceratops? I think it might be. Let's see what else we can find. What's in the purple one? Using scissors, make sure you be careful and get a grown up to help you if you need. What's in this one? Oh, look at this one. Can you see inside that? Wow, isn't it beautiful? Is that a T-Rex? A big T-Rex in there, inside their eggs. These dinosaurs are ready to just break out of their eggs, aren't they? Now another fun thing to do, kids, before you break these open, is if you've got some little lights, and you remember Ozzy has some lights that I've used in another experiment. That was the lava lamp experiment, isn't it? So they look just like this, and you turn them on, Pop it down there. I'm gonna take this big guy. Oh, check that out, how cool does that look? That's a glowing dinosaur egg. Isn't that awesome? And how cool does that look with the lights off? Glowing dinosaur eggs. Now for the fun bit, kids. Let's take these eggs outside because they're gonna be pretty messy and we'll get our hammers and start to crack them open so we can get the dinosaurs out. Let's go. So we've got our eggs outside here, kids, and now is the fun part. We're gonna break them open. Now there are a few different ways you can do it. You can pour that water on there, which is just gonna help melt the ice a little bit. And then you can start chipping away with your little hammer, just like that or with the help of a grown-up, you can get a big grown-up hammer. We'll just take that off the glass and then you can just start to break it open. Look at that. How cool is that? Look, that dinosaur is starting to come out, isn't it? So make sure you get a grown up to help you when you're using a hammer like this, because it's big and heavy and you can easily injure yourself if you're not careful. And look at that kids. We've got our very own dinosaur that we've broken out of the egg that we made. And let's get our other ones out, shall we? Let's get this little one. Here's our second one, that's almost out. We can just pour some more water on that and the rest of that ice will melt. And let's get our third one, our big T-Rex. And there's our T-Rex. 
So there we go, kids. We've got three dinosaurs that we've put into our own eggs and then had the fun of hatching or breaking out of those eggs. It's a great experiment. It's very cool. I hope you've had fun doing your very own at home with your balloons and your dinosaurs. We'll see you on the next video. And until then, stay keen. If you haven't already, make sure you get a great up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon, kids. And until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right. Stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of